Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for update 99, Alpha 4 of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, usually I don't do back to back one week to, to the other alphas. Usually there's a little bit of a space in between, but I had a whole bunch of fixes and improvements to systems that I really didn't want to wait. And I wanted to just dive right in, get them out to you folks to continue testing and, uh, and playing with. But before we jump to that, I decided to throw in uh, one uh, new toy, uh, courtesy of Sergey. We have ourselves a new revolver. That's right, the MP412 Rex. This was never actually went into production. I think it was uh, designed back in like 93 or so. And I've always loved that sort of like futuristic uh, sort of silhouette there on the four. It's just got some gorgeous lines to it. And of course, it's a break forward. And I'll tell you what, I, I am just a sucker for all break forward revolvers. Pop that out. Bam. Ha <laughs> ha. Wonderful. Great. Great stuff. Great stuff right there. Mm. Love it. Love it. All right, on to our changes. So after uh, putting a whole bunch of things into uh, testing with you folks, uh, the other day I went and basically recoded uh, all the climbing systems. And there's a number of reasons for this. The first of which relates to things like ladders. Um, I granted all climbing things this was true with, but it didn't really, uh, I didn't really run into the problems uh, that the old climbing system uh, presented until I made the ice axes because we had this situation where we'd slam one into the wall and have a grab point and then slam another one into the wall and have a grab point and then that one would have a hundred percent control which felt weird and if we pulled it out uh, of the prior we could sort of fall and so now you'll see here I can now grab one side of this with one hand grab the other side with the other, and now my control is actually being shared by the two hands. I can go up and down. I'll momentarily turn on the visibility of my controllers so you can see the effect that that has. It also means if I move them in opposition to each other because the essentially the grab direction is averaged, we don't really move much at all. But this allows to actually have the two holds at once. I can release one alternately if I needed to. Whoops. Pull out a gun and shoot like that. Transition back here. Etc. Now actually works. This allowed me to make a really sweet change to the climbing axis. Now I know some of you have already been like speed running climbing this with the old axes and I've just changed the way they work and the way they feel. So some of you might be like, oh, come on. But, uh, but give the new way a shot, please. Let's turn off our controllers here. So the new axes don't use the trigger at all. They just use raw velocity. So you need to have a little more intensity behind your swing and to pull them out I just have to jerk my hand back out. Let's turn controllers back on. Yoink! Like so. So they go in and then like that out. And it's angularly dependent so you will notice that if you're climbing with two of them your hands will slightly detach from where the prior axe is if you don't essentially apply perfectly opposing force like so Wonk. and what we can do say we're climbing like so is I can put that in there I can detach my hand take out an enemy grab the axe again and continue climbing come on Like so. As I said, takes a little while to get used to, but uh, I dig it. I dig the change. Let's come back down here. Actually, we'll leave our hands visible. The next thing that has been added, and you'll see there were two testing ropes uh, I sort of laid out here floating in the sky uh, because I was having all sorts of issues 
with the math, getting this transitioning to work, is that we can now slide on ropes. Uh, basically, if you're in standard control scheme, it'll just be clicking and holding the touchpad or joystick. If you're in streamlined, it'll be the B button, but you can grab a rope like so. I can click and hold my touchpad here, and we will slide down along it and transition to the next rope seamlessly. Climb up this one here. Note that if you are holding on to two grab points, you cannot slide. I, I, I tried to average them and it, it did too many weird things. So if it detects that you're holding, you can, you can in fact, if you're sliding, use grabbing another grab point to immediately stop you. Like so. And just by releasing the touchpad, you will kill your momentum immediately, which I figured was a good thing to do just in case people are getting a little nauseous. So yeah, do do do, slide right off there. So hopefully that should make the process of using things like the grapples uh, more fun for lateral transitions. Let's see if we can actually get one across here. Do do do. Of course, because I'm doing this in a devlog, I'm gonna totally flub it. Let's try. Let's try anyway. Let's see, did that get it? Yes, it did. And we should technically be a little higher here. So if I grab this, pull myself closer, drag myself along here, grab this rope piece, we should, yeah, there we go, be able to slide right across. All that is required is that the end point is a little bit lower than the starting point, um, and the the rate at which you will accrue acceleration is based on the angle. So it, because this section is angled down, as we hold that button, we'll pick up speed a little bit faster than on the other part. And of course, if we want, we can, let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. And then just take this and slide on down. Wonderful. <laughs> and get our climbing rope back. Perfect. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I hope you folks enjoy the uh, sliding ropes. So beyond that, there have also been some uh, take and hold changes, which I'm gonna jump out of VR to talk about. Yo, so out of VR, let's talk about what else is in this update. Uh, let's see here. So the first big thing is that scoring submission and take and hold should now finally be fixed. Lucas completely recoded the back end and the way that score submission uh, works. It sort of cues them up now and actually tries to resubmit several times over, I think, a couple seconds, uh, just in case uh, basically asynchronous requests uh, step on each other. So th thus far in our testing group, uh, no one in score has failed to submit uh, that should have been submitted. So oh, cross fingers, hopefully that uh, that should all finally be dealt with. Um, in terms of the map, I've changed a bunch of things. I, uh, I, I basically, there were a number of holds where during the first 30 seconds or so, especially if that hold fell on an early hold, uh, and so it was fairly easy. There wasn't much going on, or you could just really hide easily and just wait for the targets to show up. And so I tried to make those a little more dynamic by having their uh, attack paths uh, just be more varied or in a, in a couple cases having them come from a higher aspect and not just from a lower aspect. So hopefully that improves uh, things and just makes those more enjoyable. I fixed like so many holes in the uh, geometry, huge thanks to the testing group uh, and their incredibly detailed uh, spreadsheet with annotated pictures uh, to, uh, to help me find all these things. I don't think I would have found them all myself. It's just when you've got a one kilometer by one kilometer level, it's just there's so much. It all kind of looks samey as you look at it and it just takes you forever to find everything. Um, ooh, uh, for take and hold as well. I've added a new internal like metadata flag called non-combat that uh, set what it basically does is uh, 40 millimeter practice grenades and some of the novelty 12 gauge shells are now in it. And so those should no longer spawn and take and hold from the item from the ammo spawners 
unless you're playing Ricky Dicky Random. So if you want all random ammo, you will get it in in that and probably some other novelty characters. Um, but otherwise, in just standard character loadouts, you will no longer get those. So it is actually quote safe for you to choose uh, 40 millimeter grenades. You can still get smokes theoretically from them, which I know some of you might not want, um, but it feels now like the, the percentage chance that you get the sort of thing that you want with your grenade launcher is increased. Cool, fix that, fix that. Yeah, and that is that's just about it this week. As I said before, it's it's not a huge update. It's this is mainly about system tuning and getting fixes in the level out to you folks as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, I hope you have uh, fun playing with it and have fun with the rope sliding and, and the the climbing hijinks. The the climbing stuff is now in the item database, but it doesn't spawn as part of like a supply point in Take and Hold yet. I still need to design that and figure out the logic uh, for it going in. Um, but it will eventually be so. But until then, uh, you, know, you know, you can always just do a run with the item spawner active and see if, uh, if those implements end up being fun to use in the level. I'd love to hear from you folks about them. So yeah, cool. <sighs> so yeah, I hope you all have a, uh, a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs>